Hey, welcome to the practice lesson of the effects and presets sections. We're going to work with this file that of course will be shared with you, practice 2 file, section 2. It's just a video, a nice video of some elephants walking together. It's really cool. So, I'm going to add some effects to it so that we can work with the things that we have learned so far. Alright, now select this movie file and open your effect controls panel here and what I want is I want right now it's a, a really sunny day so I'm, I want this to be a little darker maybe a rainy day and I'm going to create a rain effect with the particle war. Besides I'm going to add some other effects for example, let's add first, let's go to Effect, Color Correction, and look for Brightness and Contrast. Now, let's increase the contrast a little bit and decrease the brightness. Just a little bit, not too much. You can see how it changes not too much, not a big deal. And now, of course, if you want to add an effect to a movie, you have to select the movie or the file that you want to apply the effect upon. You have to select the layer. All right. Now, the second step is to select the file again and look for effect, color correction again, and look for one called photo filter. Photo filter is a really nice effect because it it's a f uh, actually a filter, a camera filter, where you can add some some warming effects or cooling effects, or maybe you want to add some red effect to our video. You can see how it looks red. If I go to magenta and increase the density, it will be completely turned into ma magenta. So instead of magenta, I'm going to select the cooling filter 82. And of course, I have to lower this a little bit, maybe to 25%. It's enough. Make sure that preserve luminosity is selected. All right. All right, now let's add a new layer because we're going to create the rain and to create the rain we're going to use the particle war effect. Now select layer, new and create a new solid layer. You can leave it as it is right now. Click OK. Doesn't matter the color of the solid because we're going to apply the effect. Now on the effects and presets, look for particle war. You can write particle and this will appear in the simulation folder. Now double click on CC particle war and you will get this. You can on the gr grid and guides, you can remove this grid if you want. They can be a little annoying. All right, so right now, this is the particles that we are getting, but I want them to be different because I want it to be simulating a rain. So move on a little on the layer. In fact, drag this layer a little to the left so that when we start the animation, this is already running like this. All right. Now open the particle war effect and now go to producer and on the producer go to radius x and radius y and increase the number so that they are wider.
and let's hit play right now and okay this looks kind of nice but right now it looks like fire is coming off the sky so let's go to particle and we're good with the line particle go to birth color and death color and that's for the birth color can be go to the blues and select a really really pale blue and for the death color grab again a blue but this one can be a little darker just a little bit not too much all right now let's hit play again all right we're getting there now here on the particle lower this max opacity maybe to 50 percent all right now let's go to the physics right now it's on explosive animation set the animation to direction axis let's take a look okay this is starting to look really cool but now we have to play with the angle because right now it's going from left to the right but this looks a little weird so this should be more vertical so let's decrease the extra angle and remove the extra here get it to zero or almost zero all right now we're getting somewhere if you hit on the quarter quality you will the rain will look a little weird so let's go to full and you can see how it really looks so it's looking fine but we can make it better so let's play with the gravity let's add some more gravity so that the rain falls harder like this perfect and the velocity let's lower this velocity and the birth rate here on birth rate let's get it to one right now it's on two let's set one now let's see how it looks on full cool that's it we have rain now now for the final touch let's go to effect blur and sharpen and select Gaussian Blur we are going to add some blur because not right now these lines are really really sharp and we don't want that we want this to be like water so maybe add some a little bit of blurriness could be around three points of blurriness and that looks so much better perfect now let's rename these layers this one should be rain and this is the video and now I'm going to select again uh, my movie and I'm going to effect noise and grain and add grain now here on viewing mode make sure that it's on final output so that you can see how it will look and let's increase the intensity to two points 
let's see how it looks all right looks nice now I want to add some blur effect like this is getting out of focus here on the first second to the, s the second number two so I'm going to add with the this layer selected the movie file selected I'm going to add some blur Gaussian blur but of course this blur will be animated so that it, it starts here and ends here on this point so I'm going to open the effects properties here Gaussian blur and I'm going to click on the stopwatch you can see that it can be animated I'm going to click here and I'm going to increase this a lot maybe to 35% and here on the next second I'm going to decrease it to 0 now I'm going to create a new keyframe here on the beginning and this one will be 0 again so it will go from totally focused then blurry and focused again let's see how it looks okay perfect we have a little nice animation here some effects into our movie file and you can see how easy it is to create rain or other effects using the particle war this is one of my favorite effects the particle war later on the course we will use the particle war to create a really nice exercise so that's it for this section congratulations you know how to use the effects properly here on after effects now it's time to move on to the next section